there's a recurring message in public conversation about artificial intelligence, that disruption is normal, that technology always eliminates some jobs and creates new ones, and that society eventually finds equilibrium. That's a comforting story, but this narrative oversimplifies what's actually happening. The Industrial Revolution replaced physical strength. Machines amplified capability and freed humans to move upward into cognitive work. That shift preserved a clear hierarchy. Humans thought, machines executed. AI is different. It doesn't target muscle, it targets cognitive tasks, which means the transition is not simply upward mobility to a new tier of work. The innovation cycle now moves faster than workforce adaptation. People displaced from traditional roles need different capabilities than what their original trajectory provided. This is not a temporary adjustment. It's a structural shift where organizations must rethink how they value and deploy human expertise. The good news is that this creates demand for people who understand both systems and strategy. The architecture of work itself is changing. What used to be primarily human-driven processes now involve algorithmic pipelines that handle assessment and execution at scale. Humans remain essential, but in different roles. Oversight, judgment, context, ethical reasoning. These become the premium skills. There's also a cognitive dimension worth considering. Constant reliance on automated suggestions and generated insights changes how people approach problems. The risk is not replacement by AI. It's atrophy of judgment. The opportunity is designing systems where humans use AI as leverage without losing critical thinking. Information integrity matters too. As synthetic content grows, distinguishing signal from noise requires new literacy. This historical moment demands different strategic thinking than past tech cycles. The question is not whether AI will replace work. It will. The question is how organizations design roles, capabilities, and systems where humans and machines amplify each other rather than compete. The institutions that treat this as a straightforward productivity upgrade will miss the real opportunity. Those that invest in human judgment, adaptive capability, and strategic integration of AI will build lasting competitive advantage. The real benefit is not in the technology itself, but in how we choose to use it.